I just want to teach y'all about um, um, long-term advantages versus short-term risk. I remember when I first started um, doing properties and um, I would cut the corners a lot and get used. Hey, how you feeling? Oh yeah, for the back gate, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's for this gate, right? Yeah. Exactly. Perfect, perfect. Now I have it. Thank you, yeah. brother. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you. And he's coming to... M and I, that's one of my tenants and a great guy. And uh, I used to cut corners, right? And uh, he just gave me the key to the back gate because I, <laughs> I forgot that. I, I brought the wrong keys, so he gave me the key to the back gate. But anyways, uh, it, it's, it's just important that you don't take shortcuts and and this goes for even when you have a house right don't get a used water heater they're going to go out in two to five years go spend the eight hundred dollars a thousand dollars what it cost me if you guys can see it cost me seven hundred and eighty seven dollars for this water heater but i'm not coming back for another decade you know what I mean? And and that's just the reality of it. These ream water heaters go forever and ever and ever. And these used water heaters, you don't know the timeline on them. You have no idea. And sometimes they good and sometimes they're bad. But that's one of the things that I learned whether my 10 plus years in the property game. Long term, long think long term, especially in your primary residence. Think long term. If you have a a rental property and and you're about to sell it maybe you think short term you know what i mean but if, if, if for long term like i'm holding and i'm raising my kids to not to ever sell just keep on expanding keep on expanding and if you do sell it's to get a bigger and better asset you know so anyways i just thought i'll share this with you guys as it pertains to water heaters get you don't cut corners on water heaters man trust me because when it gets cold, when it gets cold and they got to cut the, when they got to cut the, the heater on, when uh, they cooking a lot because it gets dark earlier and all that pressure on the water heater, those used water heaters, you know, it goes out. But anyways, man, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Tip number, uh, another tip. And, and as you guys know, I'm expanding, I'm expanding barbershop conversations for real. So when you guys see these topics coming on, don't be alarmed. You know what I mean? I think I conquered boxing already. I've interviewed whoever I wanted to interview in boxing. I've reached the apex. I've gone as far as I can go. You know, I've, I've, I've made, I believe I've made and we've made, this platform has made a huge difference in the sport of boxing in terms of the conversation. And uh, I think barbershop conversations need to be just that now. So um, over the next couple of years, we're gonna expand the brand and uh, we'll still be talking boxing and we're gonna expand the brand. So so don't be alarmed. I, I, I know how to hit the reset button. Uh, what we did during COVID was exceptional. We were the most important platform during COVID. And, um, and over the next two to five years, we will be the most important platform as it pertains to uh, more global issues. So I love y'all, I appreciate y'all barbershop conversations, and I'm going to go deliver the water heater, as you guys can see, the water heater. There it is right there. Y'all can see it. Love y'all, man. Peace.